Welcome back to coverage of the World Championship, everybody. I am Ailey Loney alongside Cedric Phillips, and we're going to have a good old epiphany off, Cedric. It's Grixis yes, versus we... Is It. Yes, we are. I, I took the jacket off because it's getting hot in here. Big, mm -hmm. big match. Big match. On one side, Is It Epiphany, the, 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 the known player coming into the weekend, right? The other mm -hmm. side of things, ooh, Black Splash. What's going on here? Aaliyah there, Celeste is over here. Did these guys break it? Do they have it? Is this the next evolution of Epiphany? Or is Andre Ostrowski like, hey, keep with the norm yeah. and make it easy? We're going to find out right now. Again, small sample, but very important match. In a tournament like this, to be fair, the small sample tournament in a general sense anyway. So every single match counts here for these two players. This one should be amazing. And this matchup is also a very, very big one for Strasky, our current undefeated player at 4-0. and So if he can go 5-0, and he just needs two more wins to lock up his top four spots. So all to play for here in this final round of our day. Now, one of the fun things about this matchup is these players are just going to get some land started in what is oftentimes the case in a traditional control matchup like this. One of the things I think about in a matchup like this Sperling and his team playing Grixis Affin uh, Affinity, Grixis Epiphany. You have to imagine they tested against a ton of iterations of Is It Epiphany. Is mm -hmm. the same true for the other side? Did the Is It Epiphany no. right? Did the Is It Epiphany <laughs> players test a bunch against Grixis Epiphany in their testing process? I imagine they were like, "How do I get a leg up against Green? How do I get a leg up against the other Epiphany matchup?" So is that advantage Sperling? We don't know, but we do get the opportunity to find out. Gonna get things started here from both players, just getting lands down. Not much gonna happen in the first few turns here. We'll see an iteration or two. Maybe a Jawari disruption being held up, but Strasky is considering that as a land for turn. And Sperling is getting a little impatient, so it's gonna <laughs> dump that river glide pathway down, pass the turn over. Now of course does here. This is our first time viewing this matchup over the course of this weekend, mm -hmm. uh, and it's really my first time kind of watching this unfold in a pretty general sense. I, I imagine this plays out like a control matchup oftentimes would, which is, hey, it's about land drops to start. Let's make yeah. sure we hit those. Let's epiphany for lands. You know, like we, like we see across many magic formats, mostly in standard uh, and, of course, historic, though, about making sure you hit those land drops. And then, then the action begins, and how will it unfold when your most powerful card and what the deck is named after cost six and sometimes <laughs> seven mana. What do things look like then? That should be really interesting. Ooh. Now this is a card that could, may well be the key card in yes. this matchup for Strasky. Yes. Death of Talents, just a nod to the popularity of Affinity. Uh, so if, now you're making me say Got him, it, got it, him! Ep Epiphany yes. is upon you, Cedric Phillips. Epiphany. You main deck that card with a very certain metagame in mind. Now, against Mono Green, yeah, it can counter Blizzard Brawl, it can counter Inscription, whatever, but that's not why it's there. It's there to counter opposing Epiphanies and counter spells and stuff like that. So this test of talent's a little bit of a gamble here uh, by Strasky to, to main deck it, but maybe not as much of a gamble as you think when you think about the players in this tournament and their tendencies to like to play strategies like this. If you guess right and you assume that Epiphany is going to be the most popular deck, main decking some copies of Test of Talents makes a whole bunch of sense. We're going to see a main phase unexpected windfall getting cast while uh, the going is good, basically. Don't want to get Joy Disruption out of nowhere by Matt Sperling. Didn't have red mana, but Celestis thankfully can provide that. So we're going to see expressive iteration. Ooh, is that a test of talents target? Mm. Do, you want, do you want to cash the treasures in for that? Yeah, that's the question. Right? Looks like that's a nope from Strasky. He's happy to let that resolve. All right. So Sperling's going to take a look ski and see what he finds on top of the library. It's a, it's a, it's a, for, for Strasky, it's an interesting hand here. I mean, Tessa Talents, as we mentioned, very, very powerful iteration to kind of tie the room together. Land drops are not going to be a concern right now at all. So he, I think at this stage of things looks pretty good. Got the man, slight mana advantage at this stage of things right now too yeah also really? want to point out for strosky uh sorry partner i want to point out real quick just that field of ruin for strosky mm. uh just in case that comes up on the uh <laughs> the old hall of storm giants so continue oh, yeah. pardon me yeah no no worries just finding the red source there so in case of uh, no, uh, the celeste just going bye bye does have that land there so Things looking pretty good here from both players. Expressive iteration now for Strasky. Gonna find 
divide by zero, as well as a land drop off of this very, very good sorcery. Yeah, Expressive Iteration, one of the best cards coming from Strixhaven. I think, uh, I think pretty easily the best Prismari oh, yeah. card in Strixhaven. Hands down. Yeah. <laughs> Prismari Command may be like, hey, I'm a rare, what gives? But yeah, well, Expressive Prismari Iteration Command... is just so good. Prismari Command, you are good. No one's going to say you're not. You're just not Expressive <laughs> Iteration, that's all. <laughs> that's fair. So playing out very much like a control match you'd expect to see. Having <laughs> to discard a card, just an abundance of riches in hand here. All right, so this is, we have our first Alrun's Epiphany here from Sperling. So this little test of talents thing, right? In a perfect world, mm -hmm. your opponent plays Alrun's Epiphany, you go boom, test the talents and get them all out of here. But you can kind of do this little weird thing with Hortel where one's kind of hiding off in the shadows, right? Still available to you if the other ones have been taken out via test of talents. So Maybe that comes up, maybe it doesn't, but for right now, Spurling going to do a, a little iterating of his own. And iteration is also kind of like the, the perfect test card, right? Because, yeah, it's nice to get some stuff off it, but the longer the game goes, the less important this card is. Yeah, I think um, iteration is interesting because it's kind of card that, like, in most instances, I just don't think you're going to counter. You know, like, it, like, I think all sides acknowledge it as powerful, but it's like, mm -hmm. oh, no, you're just going to find some land drops and stuff, and... I'm going to counter the cards that like really matter. So I think more often than not, it's just going to resolve. Where do we go the, from here? Sperling is going to pass the turn back. The other card that's really interesting to me in this matchup too, I mean, there's a lot of interesting inter interactions, is just how does Leer work itself into the equation, right? It's very powerful. You get the opportunity to untap with it. Spells can't be countered, but that's symmetrical. So... Oh. Again, what what's that gonna look like in this matchup too? So a lot on both sides. Divide by zero is gonna take care of the Celestis here. Send it back to hand. Is there gonna be a response from Sperling? We see a deluge. Could even just foretell the epiphany here using the mana. Okay. Nice. Let's see, Matt's got seven cards in hand right now, so this would add two more. <laughs> so He's many. got seven in hand, this would add two more, and unless this goes back to the grip, so there's some discarding that has to be done here for Sperling, it looks like. Yeah. Ooh, Epiphany and Iteration. Yeah. Good grief. Have some cards, Sperling. <laughs> you're gonna have to yeah. discard three, but... Yeah, you're gonna have to discard quite a few. Another uh, one thing I also want to note, too, there's a lot to talk about with these two players and everything oh, yeah. that's going on with this match. Sperling, if you know his career well, um, he plays all formats. Guy loves vintage, old school, um, has done well just kind of across the board. Uh, older player, I think I think Matt and I might be the same age at 35, but you know, he's been playing forever. Um, and so the thing I love about his game is that because he's played across all formats and has success everywhere, he can kind of take a little bit from what he's learned in Vintage, a little bit he's learned in Modern, Legacy, whatever, and kind of apply it to Standard uh, and how to maybe approach a control mirror where maybe Strassi doesn't have that that level of experience. Not taking anything away from Andre, obviously, and he might have more Vintage or old school experience than I realize, but Matt has been doing this for so long that he might be more comfortable in this situation. Like, for example, discarding three cards and tapping out against a control tech than uh, <laughs> one may realize. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, you got something, go for it. Let's see what happens. But uh, unfortunately for Strasky, he doesn't have the wombo combo of a foretold Orange Epiphany plus that iteration in hand. Now, you mentioned Sperling's been playing a while. He started playing in 1994. Yeah. That is a long time to be playing Magic. Yeah. That's longer than me. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. Here we're going to get another shipwreck marsh down on the battlefield. Celestis is going to make a return. Stress keep permitting. And do some foretelling. Okay. 
Nice, setting himself up very nicely. Again, tapping out, just throwing all caution to the wind. It's like, well, if you had it, you would have done it then, so... YOLO, let's go. Ooh, iteration, iteration into... Oh, this, this is cute. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Let's go. Deal. Yeah, this, this, could drawing. Be, this, this could, oh, this this could is just, disgusting. This could, just, this could just be over right now, depending on what yeah. other cards come up. Six treasures. Oh, wow. Did where, he not, does where he, is... does he not? Does he not have a single epiphany? Where is epiphany? Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. Ten cards in hand. Just drew six. Didn't find epiphany. Is there any way for him to try to cantrip into one? I mean, he could divide by zero his own spell. That seems yeah, bad. No, that doesn't seem great. I mean, he's got an. He has a massive, and I mean massive, mana advantage now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you got to work with what you got, and the uh, top of the library is not being particularly kind here to Andre Strasky. Yeah, I mean, I guess the random, you know, good news is that, you know, Strasky has some cards that he's happy to discard, like, you know, removal spell, like Shatter Skull uh, Smashing or Burn Down the House, right? Mm -hmm. he's, got, he's got things to just kind of toss away. Um, but man, let's see, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, he's got 13 mana to Sperling's 8. Yeah. Yeah, if, if, if Matt plays a land or hasn't played a land yet, yeah. Huge advantage. Huge. Yeah, and having Tess of Talon's Joy Disruption times 2 would snipe any Ulrin's Epiphany that hits the stack here. One thing we could potentially see is, well, I mean, then you just lose both spells. Because we can Galvanic Iteration a Counterspell to prevent a Galvanic Iteration Epiphany from Spurling. Yeah, yeah, you can get a little, you can get a little funky with it. It's like a standoff. <laughs> hey. Hey, hey there you, you are. I never thought I'd be that? happy to see an epiphany. <laughs> I mean, I'm still not, but it's there, so that's good for Strasky. If you're rooting for Andre, it's good. It, it, you're happy. Yes, That you're is happy. for sure. For Sheezy. Here we go. Galvanic iteration time. It's only joy disruption in hand for Sperling. So we're going to Galvanic, Galvanic, and say, deal with it, basically, as Trasky's setting up for three turns here with Arwen's Epiphany. Yeah. So let's see, he iterations, and then he plays iteration, which copies iteration. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. now... Whee! Yep. Cash, Time cash squawk. treasures in. Let's go. <laughs> and can pay the one for Jawari Disruption. <laughs> yeah, that's necessary. That's funny. So to what, be fair, Jawar really... Disruption's not in there for counter spells most of the time. Indeed. So is this three? This is just three turns. Three turns, yeah. Yeah, this is three He's... turns, and this is also, yeah. I mean, this twelve birds. Yeah, this is this is no. you know, like this is a ton of this is six birds. Six birds. Six birds. But then also multiple turns, and you get to burn down the house to yep. make some devils. I don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves because it looks like Sperling does have some interaction back. Yeah, best, he's gonna. But... Oh, there you go. See, copying the Jora disruption, so I can pay one. So that'll prevent one turn and two birds. Squawk, squawk. Okay. Uh, quick check of the lands. I don't see a Hall of Storm Giants here for Andre. Oh, he's got one. It's at the end there. Oh no! Yep, yep. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Hmm. Let's see what he does here with this turn. Still not finding additional card draw. In a pretty good spot, though. We'll have another turn to, to find something. But all of the Storm Giants accelerates this clock pretty darn well as a 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah. Yes, it does. Look at that big fella. So Matt's going to go down to 10 here. Yep, I think Matt said, yeah. as soon as you activated that, I'm yep. dead. 
you were willing to, and so I can see. <laughs> all right. That was stressful. Right. You see Strasky there, just like kind of breathe a sigh of relief. It's just like, whoo, all right, we got it. Man, that, uh, that turn where he was able to unexpected windfall three times, just brutal. making all those treasures, getting ahead. Like, Absolutely this, brutal. This turn. card is really good. So this gets, this gets fun because we mm. take a look at the sideboarding here for Spurling. Mind Flayer, Go Blank, Discard, Hermit, four of them. Yeah. You know, and now you're sideboarding out some of your, uh, you know, your, your lesser interactions. Not good in this matchup. Pyre, Egg, Burn Down the House, Cinderclasm, stuff that you're kind of hedging, depending on what you thought people were going to bring to the tournament. Other side of things, Trusty's not bringing in a ton. Um, but the cards he is bringing in are impactful. I look at Spikefield Hazard as more of a land that he's bringing in than a spell. <laughs> Obviously nice that you can kind of do both. Uh, Goldspan Dragon, which kind of takes the game maybe a different direction than one may expect if it does show up. So it's interesting on both sides. This hand's interesting here for, <laughs> for Strassi because it looks like a one-lander, but it's not. To <laughs> <laughs> yeah. our disruption, good old lands. Yep. Yeah. Pretty decent looking hand here from uh, Spurling as well, has the Celestis in hand and expressive duration to uh, find his lands and ramp him a little bit. Let's see the second Jawari runes hit the board here for Strasky. Like you saw in the first game, these players are not in any rush. Not by any means, unless Goldspan nope. Dragon hits, resolves, and sticks around. Then things change a touch. Yeah. Yeah. And things get spicy. Aaron's Epiphany are plenty, though. Three of them for Strasky, so... Uh... I'm going to be a little happier about that, but would like to find land number four here. Yeah, he's looking at, in this control mirror that we're kind of playing right now. And I, I say it's more of a control mirror than a combo mirror. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he is just looking for the land drops, just like we saw in the first game, you know. Um, I mean, that, that unexpected windfall turn that he put together was Oof. a huge. That was rad. What are we doing? Oh, this is sicko. Ooh, let's go. Yes. <laughs> Two Ooh, cards gone. Boy, four cards gone. Two cards Four. times two. Ugh, yeah. That hurts. That hurts. Oy. Yeah, this is. I like this. I like this. This is the. This is the advantage of the black uh, splash. Yeah. You do. You do pay costs in other ways, of course, right? Your mana might be a little bit worse in a two-color deck, um, but you Ugh. do get. You do get some powerful plays like this. Yeah, and most of the time, Auron's Epiphany is immune to hand disruption, but not when your turn two is malevolent hermit. Bye bye. There goes your graveyard too. Okay. All right. So Epiphany in the holster. That'll just hang out there. Can't touch it. Malevolent Hermit's gonna get in some damage, and uh, Celestis gonna discard a copy of itself. Power word kill. And for the draw for turn. Mm-hmm. And Sperling just came out guns blazing in this standoff, that's Damn. for sure. That's that, that, that go blank. That's really, really nice. Really brutal. Now, for, for what it's worth, you know, Strassky's hand was kind of glutted with just kind of some nonsense and not a ton of land. So mm -hmm. that's one of those times where, I, you know, it, it's obviously good. I don't want to undersell how good that was. But Strassky did have some cards to kind of throw away there because, uh, you know, he's drawn so many copies <laughs> of Epiphany. But make, make no mistake about it, when you're playing a resource intensive matchup like this one, Every card does matter, and Strosky does not have very many of them left. No, he doesn't. Gonna hope like heck he can find a fifth land here and get Goldspan Dragon down. The rest will take a look, Ski, and see. Oh, I can't discard that, so please don't draw land. Thanks. Basically, what Sperling's thinking. Oh, Mind yeah. Flayer, though. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, see. <laughs> Boy, this is good. This is good stuff right here. Because <laughs> you would not expect Spurling to bring Mind Flare into a matchup like this, but when I know you have access to Goldspan Dragons, I am going to bring in a card like this. And are you, Andre Strosky, expecting me, Matt Spurling, to bring in Mind Flare against you? <laughs> right? Because in this kind of matchup, you wouldn't really think like, oh yeah, you're just going to tap out for five mana for a control magic creature. I don't even really play creatures. Well, yep. you kind of do. Yeah. <laughs> Atlantic Iteration, not the mountain that Strasky was looking for, so won't be able to get that down on the battlefield. Celestis doing work once again. Looking great. Oof, looking memory deluge. Great. 
Yeah, what's the time to send to what's the time to send away? I think Deluge gets the uh, maybe. Because you got you got a little shortage of blue mana here, right? Again, part of the yeah. cost of paying three colors. You know, you found <laughs> a lot of your black red lands. You haven't found so much of your blue lands. Well, the hermits are coming out to play though, that's for sure. Don't think we'll see the second one hit the board. Just want to keep up that counter spell ability that the hermit has attached to it. So just mm -hmm. foretelling that demon bolt for now. Ooh, demon bolt kills Goldspan. Right, bro. In a way, in a way, right? Because you demon bolt it. Uh, <laughs> he's ready. He's ready. <laughs> Strathy, <It's> ready to... <laughs> Stra yeah. Strathy, ready to retire. <laughs> As, as one does if you're a hundred. So I think the sequence right here is you play Goldspan Dragon, Demon Bolt goes tries to go after it, mm. right? You, you Demon Bolt it, you get to make the treasure. Yeah. And then and protect, it I, with... you protect, protect it with the Hermit. So that, 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 that thing's hanging out for a little bit. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure Sperling is more interested in grabbing it with a Mind Flare. Because yeah, there's not that, much that Hermit can do with that, about that. Yeah, that may be of more interest. Yeah. It's like, oh, you have a dragon? No, no, no. I have a dragon. I guess you could also. I mean, Spurling's also got the option of just going power, power word, kill your hermit. Yeah. Yeah, because that ain't touching no dragon. That's for nope. sure. And now we maybe we mind flayer. You're feeling that confident. You know that your opponent's working with very few resources. Oh, you know you want to. But is it correct? That's a good question. Hey, get the easy part out of the way. Yeah. Deuce. Tech gonna hit two. you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's going for the removal. <laughs> All right, get out of here, All dragon. Right. That's respectable, because, yeah, you know, if Mind Flayer gets removed, then stressy has got the dragon back. This now, it's, this way, it's a non-issue. Yeah. Trade this Lessus again. I don't need that mountain. It is a mountain. Bye-bye. All right, here comes Benevolent Geist. So, Strasky could be setting up here quite nicely for a Galvanic Iteration into Alrun's Epiphany. Can't be counted while that's down on the battlefield. Is that perhaps a more enticing target for Mind Flayer? No. Oh no, just removal. Let's do that. <laughs> ah, that thing's gone. Okay. Toodles. <laughs> he doesn't seem yeah. to care too much about that. Yeah, it's like, there, right? it's fine. Yeah, it I'm gonna take it two turns now. Oh, well, what, 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 with, uh, with the benevolent guys off the battlefield, I mean, we might just see both hermits just get cashed in, right? On both epiphanies? Yeah. That's entirely possible now. Oh, hello. Oh, wait, can't play both, though. Yeah, right? Man so it's just like, <laughs> if, you go, if you just go iteration, one, two, three, four, five, six, iteration, epiphany, I, I think it's entirely possible that just goes, okay, counter, counter, just sack both my hermits. Yeah. Yeah. Nope, not going to do it. It's nope, going to hang nowhere, tight. Nowhere to go. <laughs> wow, these uh, mind flares are out in force. Strasky's down to 10. Needs to draw something of meaning, and that is a divide by zero. Yeah, Madeline Herman is so good in a matchup like this. Oh, yeah. Beats down, relevant text on both sides of the body. Really nice card. Sperling, perhaps considering a memory deluge here on the end step of Strasky. If not, why not? I don't think he will go for it. Okay. Extremely powerful if it does resolve. You have to look at so many cards. Yeah. That's also awkward, though, because then you're just giving them the spell back for cheaper. It's like, here, just do it again. So that's kind of the awkward thing about these flashback spells. Like, well, you divide... really don't want that to go back into your hand, but I can also get stuff, so... Hmm. Well, divide with against flashback is good for divide. I think it's I think it's the disturbed cards that it's bad with, right? Oh yeah, one of the two. Yeah, so if you yeah, if you divide if you divide this, it goes away. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
very remand-esque for you old school gamers out there. I think it's a question of do you want to double divide? Let's do it. Because Strosky's hand stinks. <laughs> so he needs a little bit of help here. So yeah, oh, that's yeah. gone for good. This gun's exile, sweet. This expressive iteration from Matt Sperling. Gets to look at three more cards. What does he find? Still looking really good here in this game for Sperling. Strasky has a lot of work. Has two extra cards from the sideboard in hand. We'll hopefully get to cast them and uh, try and stabilize here a little bit. Yeah, tough spells to resolve. Mascot Exhibition, as an example, very powerful card if it does resolve. But again, these mm. Madeline Hermits are just proving to be very problematic. Ooh. We found a copy of Iteration. I think the more important card oh. that he found is Duress. This is oh, a yeah. matchup where Duress is fantastic. Getting... Not only, well, more often than not taking a card out of Strozzi's hand, but it's the information that you gain about what's going on in your opponent's hand that's really key. Now, Matt's got a pretty good handle of what's going on in Andre's hand because he knows about the environmental sciences and the mascot expedition, but now you also know there's a Galvanic iteration, you know there's one in the graveyard, and your best guess is that, is that All Runs Epiphany has been foretold. So really the only thing that Matt probably doesn't know at this stage is what the heck is on top of Strosky's deck. That's the missing piece of information right now. The rest is going to take care of Mascot Exhibition. That goes to the bin. What's the follow-up going to be here? For Spurling, it's going to be Celestis once again. We'll only be able to counter one of these spells now. Yeah, so he can hermit. He can hermit one of these, as you mentioned. I, I, I gotta feel like he does. He's thinking that this is interesting, because if he doesn't, then he's thinking about something bigger, about maybe like doing it maybe down the road or something. But now it's just okay. You get one free turn. Yeah, you I mean he is quite far ahead at this point. So yeah. you see, you saw he, he thought about it. He was like. Mm. Maybe I wait and to see what happens here, because there's a yeah. there's a chance that Strasky draws absolutely nothing, and he sure did. Yeah, and I and I think it's worth at least thinking about there if you're Matt, and you know I think ultimately the play he made is the right one. But again, I think it's just ultimately worth just kind of considering if I can have to slip both of these resolve. I know your hand's weak. I know what's going on in your graveyard. I just don't know what's on top of your deck. So and you don't have a hall of storm giants in your lands this game like you did last game, Andre. Speak of the devil, hall of storm giants is the draw here for Sperling. Has Epiphany, can fire that off. Has two Mind Flayers just hanging out in hand. Hasn't found a spot for them just yet. Yeah, so these Mind Flayers are interesting. Um, <laughs> now, and, and, and so far as I want to explain that a little bit, the context of that. So I don't think you'd expect this card to come in, as I mentioned a little bit earlier. Doesn't mean that, doesn't mean Andre can't figure it out. I'm curious if Sperling wants to reveal that they're in for this game, right? Yeah. Because he, he hasn't had a reason to play them. Um, and I don't know if it's expected that he would sideboard these in. So he might be able to conceal the information that he's boarded them in and keep them in for game three, because I think we're probably headed that way and maybe take Andre by surprise. Um, there's also entirely possible that for game number three with Sperling probably on the draw, because he's gonna. it looks like he may win this game, that he just boards them out entirely. So it, it's a little interesting, a little interesting, these Mind Flayers, and if they're ever gonna get cast and what kind of ramifications that has on the game we're watching and future game we may be watching. Yeah. Well, as it stands, Sperling is oh. going to be able to take several turns in a row. Can also just peck these birds out the way with Spike Field Hazard if he so chooses. So he just discarded a Mind Flayer. So so Andre knows that he has at least one after sideboard. Yeah. Sperling very much in the driver's seat here. Andre Strasky is down to eight. Majority of the damage has been done by these hermits after sideboarding. Are we going to add some birds to the equation here? One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Yeah, enough to do this. Two turns. Okay, Strasky. Strasky knows he's beat. <laughs> yeah, let's go to game number three here between Matt Sperling and Andre Strasky. Strasky currently undefeated, looking for that 5-0 and oh to put himself in an excellent position for top four in this World Championship. Sperling looking to pip him and uh, become co-leader of this tournament. Seeing if Matt's changing anything. Strasky happy with his game plan? Yeah, he submitted Submit quick. straight away. Yeah, he submitted very quick. Matt's taking a little bit of a longer look. Does anything change with being on the play versus the draw? Mind Flayer still in. Only three epiphanies now. Th still has three Leer. You know what card I'm curious about in his sideboard? And how many times it's going to be played this weekend, if at all? Is that Cyclone Summoner? Yeah, I'm curious about that one too. I really am. Forgot that card even existed until I saw it on people's <laughs> deck list this weekend. Everyone was like, like, what? Yeah. Why? Yeah, not bad against aggro. <laughs> Pick up all your stuff. Big 7-7 seven, seven, GL. <laughs> yeah. That's legit. Yeah. Cyclonic rift on a stick. More or less. They kill you fast, too. Okay, look at this. It's, <laughs> it's, one, it's this hand again. I don't have any lands, except I have four of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Jari Roos to kick things off here for Strasky. We'll be hoping to find good stuff off of this expressive iteration. On the other side of things, yeah, that's looking pretty darn good there for Sperling indeed. Turn to Hermit. Let's go. I see Strasky does have the answer there with the Demon Bolt that, is been for that has been foretold. Pardon me. This one's gonna this one's probably gonna be a little bit longer. Both players' hands, you know, we're gonna see land drops. I think we're gonna see some interaction, some back and forth. Sperling's got the go blank again. He's got soul shatter, so he's got some some unique interaction along with the two hermits. Remember, Matt has four of those after sideboard. Strosky, test of talents, obviously a very powerful card in the matchup. Um Andre, we're getting getting roped maybe a little bit early here. Yeah. This is a tough decision because Strasky's hand, as it stands, is quite reactive, but being on the play, you want to try and get something going here. Yeah, and I, this is a turn where he could have very easily cast Expressive Iteration, but he clearly doesn't want to just yet. Heck mm. of a draw stuff there from Matt. Again, this, Ooh, this is a rest. huge, it's a huge, huge reason to splash black. If you if it's you expect so if, yeah, if you expect Epiphany decks, which clearly a lot of players did this weekend, I mean Duress is so good against these spell-based decks. Um Again, get to get to more often than not nab a card, but the info, info is what's so big. Mm. With the hermit off the board now, it's going to make it a little bit more difficult to get this to resolve. So let's see where he goes here. It's going to be a second copy of hermit, one mana up to pay for draw disruption. Should that be a factor? It says oops. Oops. Why? Don't know. Maybe. <laughs> well, you know, Matt does have a good sense of humor if you follow him on Twitter. Could be trolling. <laughs> Don't know. Not positive. <laughs> the the oops may have been, thanks for killing the first one. I don't care. I have a second one. We'll see. That could, it could be that, yeah. Oh my gosh. More go blanks? Woo! Strasky is going to have a hard time keeping his hand in his hand as a malevolent hermit chips in for two points of damage. Now let's see, what do we go for here? We're gonna go blank? Yeah. Taps a black man, we will. A little undo. There we go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice. You got Hermit on the battlefield to clear the path for this, so your test of talents is no good. Well, well Spikefield has it, could take it out and then test of talents it. That's fair. That's fair. Get that pesky counter critter off the board. Get out of here, Hermit. There is a follow-up duress, though, so I like the sequencing from Sperling. So, okay, fine. Go blank. Gets countered. But I'm going to take whatever else is left in your hand after this talent resolves. Yep. 
So now, as we play this information game, okay, so now Strassi's got the info of what's going on in Sperling's hand. You see the soul shatter, you see the duress, you see the blood chief's thirst. Go blinks are gone. Get a good look at your opponent's library, right? All that stuff. Now you also know your opponent has a hermit in the graveyard, okay? You don't know what Sperling's drawing. It's about the only piece of information you don't have. Sperling, I think, not a lock, obviously, but I think he's probably going to fire off the rest, and then he'll have the information on what's going on the other side of things. So both, <laughs> players, both players will know exactly what's going on outside the top of the opponent's deck. Yep. Basically just playing with open hands at this point until they yep. draw into whatever it is they find. And now Duress gonna... is going to take a peek and get rid of one of the best cards in Strasky's hand. Yeah, iteration, get out of here. Right, divide by zero, nice find though. All right, the Geist. Okay. Smashing can take care of that. No interest in divide by zero. Strasky. I just smash yeah. it. Yeah. Get off the board. Move. Now both players are kind of just waiting for the other person to budge. Yeah, we're really kind of spells for Sparrow. You need something a bit more proactive. Yeah, I mean, Matt would love oh, that, works. that, that, <laughs> that. Yeah, that's this pretty darn like. good. Yeah, that's a really good place to start. Ooh very oh, nice indeed oh, oh and here comes I, I almost want to call it the money maker that's probably not right but you know it may well be the celestis uh, ask, is very yeah. darn good ask, ask sperling after the tournament if it's the money maker it might be <laughs> it might be because this look good strasky wants that out of here so it's gonna divide by zero let's go find teachings of the archaics nice little catch-up mechanic Catch-up card here. Yeah, that's nice. nice. That's, that's very nice. nice. Ooh, boy, okay. Great time to fire that off. Yeah, not bad. So disrupt, Jawari disruption, worst of the bunch. Iteration, pretty nice draw. Well, the, of the expressive kind, <laughs> the <laughs> galvanic yeah. one, high ceiling. Yeah, high ceiling draw. Oh, Celestis one, two, three, is going to put in so one, much two, work three, here four, for Sperling. Oh, nice. Another divide by zero. That's really good here yeah. for Strasky. Yeah, that's not bad either. That's not bad either. Sperling's hand very, very reactive with Blood Chief's Thirst Soul Shatter, which are not very good right now. Mind Flayer also not particularly good right now. So Matt's got, Matt's got creatures on lock, but Andre doesn't have those. Hmm. Well, Galvanic Iteration ain't so great without stuff to do, so... Guessing we go Divide by Zero here? Yeah, you could put Divide by Zero in the grip, Mountain off to the side, Iteration on the bottom. We already got it, Galvanic Iteration in the hand. But again, the thing about Galvanic Iteration, it, it, it's a very high ceiling card, so you might have interest in just having another copy. Or maybe you don't want another copy of Divide by Zero because you already have one in hand. So <laughs> it's, actually, it's actually kind of an interesting decision. I think the only clear-cut part of this is that mountains going off to the side. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I think that's the only thing I. <laughs> I think that's the only thing I feel confident about in this expressive iteration. This is why I play mono green. This is too hard. <laughs> okay, this is too tough. You have to have so many things paired yeah. for this matchup. I don't envy right, I, these players. I got the mountain part right. Okay. <laughs> I got the divide by zero. Cool. Yeah. All right. Two for two. We got it. Ooh, okay. Nice draw here for Sperling, too. Gets to dig a little deeper, try to find something a bit more proactive. And Matt needed the help, too. He needed the help. He needs to find something to do right now. Again, creatures on lock. Feels really good about those with the removal spells and the, the walking control magic. Yeah. Let's see what Sperling finds. If he gets any goodies that make him ponder upon... We'll find out what those cards he's looking at are in just a moment. But this is a very big expressive iteration for him. I guess the question I'd ask, too, is I don't know exactly what he's looking for right now. You know, Epiphany's fine. Maybe he's in search of a hermit. Ooh. Lear might be much better than I'm giving it credit for. I guess you can just cast that right now, right? Put his shields down. Dare you to have it. Yeah. What you got? Let's see.
But when, started... shield, when shields went down in the first game, though, it didn't end well for Sperling. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. One thing I'm, I'm keeping account of right now, too, is does, does Andre have the ability to Galvanic plus Epiphany if he draws Epiphany? And right now he's a mana short. Yeah. I wonder if he'd go for the, uh, the drawn discard with the learn mechanic instead of the pull from the sideboard. Well, that's a good question right now. Does he want mascot? Yeah, I like Anything that. Else? Okay. Nice. Okay. Now we just need to draw uh, Auron's Epiphany off the top. Yeah, that's all it takes, right? Just, just your Easy. best card. And go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe tempted to divide by zero again. Yeah, I mean, you could right. You could divide, divide, bounce the Celestis if you want. We've seen him make that play before. Yeah, this is a an interesting choice here, a decision to be made. Yeah, you could you could divide. You could learn, go get mascot Ex exhibition if you feel like that's going to be good. But you also know that Sperling has. Blood Chief's Thirst and Soul Shattered Hand, so Mascot Ex Exhibition is not really where you want to be. Yeah, and with Lear, that would be another cheap Blood Chief's Thirst. Yeah, so you kind of... I don't think that's ideal. <laughs> <laughs> the Mind Games. From the Mind uh, Flaying player, Matt Sperling. <laughs> good that you can have fun when a game like this is taking place with so much on the line. Yeah. Epiphany changes the whole thing. If that's a good draw from Sperling, if he's, able to get, if he's able to get an untap step, clears nice. the way for some stuff. Nope. Eh. That's a bit of a doo doo draw. Frost yeah. boils snarl. Yeah, not a winning draw step there. Yeah, you see Sperling. He knows. He knows. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Don't don't epiphany me, bro. Say don't your epiphany prayers. me. Yep. Where's answered? If I get, cause, get cause if, if you're spurling, if you get to untap, you get to you get to lead with duress to clear the way for Lear. Uh huh. Then play Lear, and uh -huh. then you can play duress again, right? Like yeah. you get to lead. Oh, yeah, you get disgusting. to lead out with a beautiful card right now if oh, you want to. This is gonna be so bad for Strasky. All right, let's see, Spurling, what you got? Yeah. Here it comes. This is, duress. This is this is this is. This is classic duress. This is like, you know, 20 years of duress. Clear the path. Let me see the, let me, let me take your counter spell. Let me get the information of what you're working with. If you're using a counter spell on duress, that means you're not countering my next thing. Like this is, this is what this card was made for. But by zero is going to send this back to hand. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, no, it's going to send back the Celestis. Okay, that's cool. Less than nine minutes remain, but uh, we're, we're, we're getting there, game. Don't rush us. Yeah, Sperling probably floats with Celestis. Yep. Yep. That resolves. You just want to loot if you're Andre, probably. Because, again, I don't think Exhibition's any good. Mm -mm. Environmental Sciences is who cares. I mean, I guess, I guess, well, no, if you, you're just going to get to rest again. You don't want to take Expedition or Exhibition. Yeah. No. yeah. Oh. oh, oh, hey, actually, that's pretty nifty. That's better than nothing. Yeah, it's good information. Like, that's, be that's better than nothing. Yeah. Actually, yeah. depending on what's in Sperling Spirit, that's actually sick. That's so sick. Yeah, no more duress is for you. That's, that's so really sick, because Sperling's turn was going to just be duress, Lear, duress you. Yeah, and, and now, so now he has he's got something. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four. Five. So now, if Andre draws Epiphany, he can still, like, go? Yeah. God, Tessa, tell me I was sick. That was a timely draw indeed. Lear won't have any fun stuff to do in terms of hand disruption, but we'll get to express iteration here. Oh, yeah, okay, that's so... big. Do or die now, I'd imagine. Uh, for, yeah, Andre, for Andre's, got, Andre's got to draw. <laughs> you got to draw 50 right. for right now. Use your one time, my dude. Let's <laughs> see. What's it going to be? Is it going to be Epiphany? Oh. Uh, okay. That's, okay. That's all right. That's all right. Well, no. Um, as an additional cost of cast this spell. Okay, so you got to do uh, this first. He needs to discard, yeah. Yep, he's got to do this first because he, he doesn't have a card to discard. Ugh. 
Okay, so you can you can windfall, discard iteration, peel two. You don't get too far that way. Yeah. Does it just sit on this? Man, these matchups are stressful, and we have a whole weekend yeah. of this. Yeah, I mean, Cedric? you can't. You, I mean, you can't. You can't let Matt untap with Lear. You can't. It's too powerful. Lear needs to go bye bye, and I think Strasky realizes that. It's just too powerful. So goodbye, Galvanic iteration. Ah, where were you a turn ago? Well, we could cast it. Wait, we can cast it. One, two, three, uh, two. Uh, yeah. Are we short? Ah, oh, we're uh, short. Are we short one? Okay, yeah, so that's just, just over one. there. Okay, so now, new plan. <laughs> new plan. <laughs> Survive. New plan is hope I get a turn. All right, new plan. Okay. All right. That's easy. Easy peasy. All right, no problem. <laughs> we'll see about that. Expressive iteration from Sperling. What can he find off the top of the library here? Uh, worth noting, really quickly, as I know Sperling's going to resolve this spell, just nothing can be countered now because Alir being on yeah. the battlefield. So just. Yeah. No let more it counterinos. Malevolent Hermit, you're just a dorky 2 1 at this point, so. Game plan now after Sperling is don't get a. Uh, don't, don't let Strasky have another turn. That's the plan yep. now. Lear in for three, down to 15. Go Strasky. What does he find at the top? It's a river glide pathway. Oh boy. Blood Chief's Thirst. I'm, I'm going to take. I'm going to analyze this. What Spring's options are right now. Blood Chief's Thirst, nothing. Demon Bolt, four Meh. somewhere. Backup Lear, nothing. Hermit, really nothing. Just a 2 1 right now. Text is irrelevant because mm -hmm. Lear's on the battlefield. Celestis, it's kind of whatever. Soul Shatter, also kind of whatever. Player, just an expensive 3-3. Three, three. It does have 12 damage, which is pretty neat with the hole. Yeah, but with the that hole. can be blown up. It's got the mana too. Field of ruin that. So. Yeah, respond respond to the activation, blow it up. Yeah. Yep. So where do we go? Let's see. Celestis. Cool. Celestis and a hermit. Let's just get some board presence. Alright. Yep. And now, and if that's all you can do, now you are hoping that you get another turn. 10, 11. That's 11 mana. Oh, he can iteration twice. So that's three turns? Yep. Returns, no hold the storm giants down for Strasky. Okay. But he's free and clear to fire away. Discard a Lear. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Step one. Yeah. Let's Galvanic my Galvanic. My Elrins. Step two. All right, what's the best draw off the top of the library here, Cedric? More right, Elrins? Got... Yeah, I think just more Elrins. <laughs> I, I, it's just I, it's just one more Elrin to get it done. That's all it takes. Even with the life gain? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think so. Because you, because you have an iterate. Yeah. There we go. Three, one, two, three. Be uh, remember, he's getting additional turns, so yeah, he can yeah. he can he can foretell this one with the intention of iteration plus epiphany the next one. Oh. And no. be totally fine. Six damage down to nineteen. Yep. Pigeon power, I tell you. It's got nothing to do with extra turns. It's all the birds. Sick. Six, six, six. That test, the that test of talents was unbelievable. Spurling's yeah. turn was going to be duress, leer, duress, duress, empty you out. Two more turns. Four more birds. Unbelievable. <laughs> He's got it. Oh. If you had told me that this game was going to go this way, 
when we saw what was happening a few turns ago, I would have called you a liar. Look at this. Oh, it's just... Good grief. Two turns, still to go for Strasky. Ten power in the air, uncontested. No cinderclasm. Nothing like that for Spurling. He is just going to be dead by birds. And that it's going to be, Cedric, a 5 and 0 oh for Andre Strasky. Yep. Unbelievable. Yep. And wow, there's so much I can, there's so much to say. So much to say. Test of talents. Test of talents. That card. They included it in the main deck for a reason. And I think we have seen <laughs> just how powerful it is. Andre Strasky, 5 and 0. Oh, that he's got to be player of the day. Can he he can't lose.